During New Zealand's summer season, overseas cruise ships call at Dunedin's Port Chalmers on their journey around the South Pacific. Tidy Gorge Railways cruise ship trains have become a popular feature of the summer months, especially for those passengers with an interest in railways. The trains run alongside Port Chalmers, where passengers have only a short walk from their cruise ship to board their carriage for the journey to Pukarangi. Friendly volunteers from the Otago Excursion Train Trust ride along with you, providing personal service in every carriage. Because they're so popular, the cruise ship charters require up to three locomotives and 20 carriages to cater for the large number of passengers who choose the rail journey experience while in Dunedin. Panoramic carriage windows and open platforms provide a chance to get some great pictures of the amazing landscape. The Tairi Gorge Railway experience has consistently been voted one of the most popular by cruise passengers on their ports of call around New Zealand. The route originally chosen to Otago Central was frequently criticised for running through 64 kilometres of rugged, unproductive country before it reached any significant areas of productive land. Ironically, it's those same 64 kilometres that have survived as the Tyree Gorge Railway. Most of the impressive viaducts in the Tyree Gorge were built by Anderson's Limited of Christchurch who manufactured all the ironwork in a temporary workshop at Wingatui. The girders were assembled at Wingatui, marked, dismantled and railed to each viaduct site as soon as the track had been laid to that point. Construction workers lived in tents and two-room sod huts in open exposed areas in the gorge that gave very little comfort during central Otago's harsh winter conditions. The deep gorge section between Hindon and the reefs illustrates the engineering feats that the pioneer construction workers faced as the rails pushed up the gorge. The men's basic tools were picks, shovels, wheelbarrows and explosives to cut and blast their way through solid rock to form cuttings and tunnels.